<laughs> oh no, I hate it already. Welcome back everybody to the Useless Mr. Moon Show, a horror show, and today we're gonna play the back rooms last time. It's my first back room game ever because I know what the back rooms are, but I never played a game before because the the whole the whole idea of the back rooms really freaks me out in a way. I'm not really terrified like a little baby, but it freaks me out in in, in, in a way. So I thought I'm gonna skip those games, but this one stood out above the, all the others that I saw so I'm gonna give it a go I don't know if it's gonna be a very scary horror game but I know it's gonna be terrifying because on around every corner there is something lurking to get us that's what I know but mo nothing more than that but I'm not gonna waste any more of your time ladies and gentlemen we're gonna hop in and let's see what this game is all about but before we're gonna do that leave a subscribe or like of course but for now we're gonna play are you ready to get scared hopefully we do get scared. Let's select the tape. Are we? Because it's actually banned footage. The tape of Josh. Uh, what? Alright. Hmm. Let's let's let, let let's put my tape in. Alright. I'm not I'm not doing anything. It's actually a video. Alright, hey boss. As you can see, the um, the people were able to clean up the place, and I was able to help. Really, um, really good. Uh, that one spot that was really bad, uh, I don't, <laughs> that may be an exception, but uh, everything else is clean. Um, as you can see right here, I'll be moving around here a little bit to show you. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but I'll go to room one soon. Just wanted to let you know. What's happening? God. Stupid light. Stupid light. Uh, what? Hey, who turned that on? That's creepy. Mm, please no jump scares. <laughs> it is hell of an intro. Oh, wow. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Anybody here? Oh, we can actually move. Oh. Gotta do one thing though. Where's my completely full screen? Let's leave it on high. Alright, where's my full screen mode? Is it just me or is it gonna be the whole time like that? Ooh, it feels like we're wa uh, walking like a real person. Hello? Oh, I like, I don't like this. Oh. Uh, solitude is one of the greatest obstacles in Ron Rick and face. It is something behind our control, something that eats us away. Little by little, killing the unwary before they even realize. It is, I dare to say, our deepest fear, and that is why it should come as no surprise that this damn place we now call home has found a way to take advantage of your men inherent need of companionship. Okay, it seems like there's a code. So we have one, two, three, four, six, two, four, six numbers. I'm gonna write that down for myself. I like to do that, otherwise I get confused and get annoyed. And then the fifth number is actually a six. All right. I want to see actually if this is really meant to be like this, like yeah, like a square. Let me figure that out. All right, I do think, I do think, I do think this is actually uh, everything uh, screen has to offer. I think this is the biggest that we can get, biggest resolution. All right, so. For the people that don't know much about the back rooms, it's really like this. They're like we just see walls, crazy things that are happening here. I think it's an alternate dimension. I don't, I don't know much about the back rooms. I've seen some videos, like normal videos, not like gameplay videos, and we have to figure out our way out of this. Some games 
I do notice I really like just walls, yellow walls, that's it, running around from uh, uh, away from a creature. But this is more meant as a story. So more also dedicated work into the into the walls. I have seen some pictures from other games as well. And I, I, I have to say, this already looks creepier. It, it, it focused more on the atmosphere though. I don't know if there's going to be any... Wait, what is that? Going to be any monsters here? Mostly there are in these games. Mostly there are. What's that? I saw something. Oh, we can zoom. And I like the feeling that we walk as a person though. Like a real being. Huh. I, I don't like this. Like all the way alone. I f this is really one of my, not really, I would like to say fears. Not really, but I had some nightmares about it when I was a, ch a child. Maybe not even a child. Maybe uh, recently, like uh, two days ago. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, no, I took the computer monitor that was here to the lab. The one in the lab was apparently broken. My legs and, and feet hurts. I walk so much carrying these things. Hope I can finish this, as this may be the only way out of this place. I connect the computer to the laboratory module in order to be able to access the generator. But the problem is that it's requesting a password. I think will be stuck here forever. Wait a minute. Can someone hear me? Did we just have a notebook? I'm writing this letter hoping to be found. Maybe someday someone will find me here. Or find this letter. I don't know if I'm crazy or if I die. This place doesn't seem to belong to this world. See, it's a really... That's why... Why? What is the desk doing there? But I've seen things here that I can't describe. I landed here when I was doing some graffiti around town. Now I'm here with my backpack and my only white spray. This play is used so I'm making some marks on the wall for myself or anyone else that might come down here. I've read some letters from other people. It seems that this place has other floors. There are hostile creatures too. Oh no, they are creatures shit. I hate, I have a hate and love relationship with games that chase me. I saw th uh, some things but I didn't have the courage of approach to approach. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. What I find, I will mark on the walls. Or update this note. If I don't get lost in this place, if you find notes, please don't take them. If you find notes, please don't take them. This way other people can be safe too. There's a big riddle in this place. Find the notes, they have some information. Well, did he die? Because if he died, or if I, if I died. Okay, but we have to make up our mind. We have to think about the fact he left markings that we can follow. We can trust it, or did he die? If he died, we walk to our death as well. Hmm. Oh, I do know because it says... It says something in the beginning about writing... Who? It said something about... We can write something on a notepad, right? Or did we not grab that one? Ah! And his notepad. I'm going to use a notebook to make some uh, annotation of possible news about... Oh, oh, we can actually write. <gasps> I love it. So code might be... I don't have to write it then down on my notepad. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six numbers. And the fifth number was a six. Let's do it like this. Okay, we can keep on notes. So to make... Make sure we don't do anything stupid. Okay, there's no right way to go, I believe. Oh, I hate to go continue to the next corridor. So this is what I mean. He left. He left King Big Arrow here. It's really freaky. <laughs> it's really freaky. He left a big arrow here, but maybe he died ran against the creature, right? It is possible. This, this is what I mean. This is weird, man. I get goosebumps from it. I'm making myself crazy with this. I'm gonna trust the arrows. I'm gonna... We just found a note. The chairs are dangerous. You know what? Why the heck not? Notes? Let's be professional. 
chairs are dangerous. We might, we might forget. I probably won't forget. Well, sometimes I do forget these things. All right, I think I'm gonna follow the arrow. That might be stupid. I don't. Ugh. What, what can a chair do? I'm actually very curious what a chair can do. I want to know. You hear that? Wait a minute. This chair is not doing anything, but I'm not going to trust the chairs anyway. Because he hanged up a note for a reason. Okay. Are we going? Ah, fuck it. Let's go. Yeah, that's pretty weird, though. What's this note? Ah, ah, a fight. Oh, we can write it down, of course, there. I like to write it down. Just, oh, no, I should not press tab for the notes. This is a, quite a frequent used uh, key binding for backpack or something like that. So we have a five. Good. There we go. Ooh, nice. Nice. Are we really gonna follow the world? What is in here? Use me? It kind of... <laughs> this is kind of weird, man. There's a strange humidity in this place. The carpet is wet in this part. It seems to come from this wide area, which gave rise to these mushrooms. I was very hungry, so I ate one of them. Now my body won't stop itching. I'm itching so much that it's creating bruises, even on my head. You're kind of a moron then, if you do that. It's such a weird area and you start to eat. But if you're hungry, you're hungry. I just saw this door open on one time when lights were red. What does that mean? Oh. Every game where lights turn red, it means trouble. Trouble, double, double. Okay, so we might uh, need to remind ourselves. Uh, so we're gonna. I'm gonna do it like a professional. Uh, elevator. I guess it's elevator though. Door op opens only when the lights are red. I guess we're gonna need that though. Pretty sure actually. Otherwise, why would that note be there? Okay, I'm follow. I'm gonna follow this. That's pure darkness. <laughs> I don't like that. Can someone hear me? Someone screams back. I'm gonna be done with this. Definitely. Is anyone here? Oh, this is so dark. I get goosebumps for no freaking reason. Let's follow the arrows. Don't make myself get lost. We do know there might be a creature out there. Who is that? Oh, is it an end? This Excuse me. I just want to say it's going to be an endless map. I immediately spotted something here. What is this supposed to be? Some note somewhere. Hmm. Oh. You're just being very quiet. You can hear the electricity run through the freaking lights. That's creepy. 
But I'm gonna follow the white arrow. Yeah, that seems like fun. Okay. What's there then? I, I wish we could actually know what's in Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, so we do know what's there. I think we really do have to fight, uh, uh, follow the white arrows until freaking, cre freaking creature is haunting us. Hello? Can someone hear me? Oh. <laughs> this place brings me some memories. Well, it doesn't with me. It gives me goosebumps. That's what that what it does. Heck yeah. Oh, there's a door there. That's interesting. That's bloody mean. I thought. Is there a door? <laughs> That's just me, man. I'm actually terrified, so I can't really laugh about it, but... It's a funny joke. <laughs> it's such a game. Yeah, this is what I mean. This is just weird, right? I don't know how the ge back room games actually started. I think it started back in the days with just one game that was stuck in an office. A horror game that was stuck in an office. And then they started. I actually wonder how the backroom game started. Deja vu area. This is your first time here. If this area feels familiar, immediately alert foundation staff. You see something, say something. I want to quit. Wait. Why can't we just stick to the wall then and be smart? Oh, I thought a chair, man. Come on. This is this kind of pointless. <laughs> pointless but creepy. Oh, are they gonna attack me? No, all right, we'll fall over and scare the bejesus out of us. I really do, uh, you, and I really do hope you enjoy this. Just to try to mix up the spices a little bit on this channel. Different kind of horror games. Yeah, this feels familiar. I have to notify someone. Alright. Uh, I'm lost. There was a way somewhere, alright? Here it is. Huh? Oh, there it is. What? What is that room supposed to be? What is this? There's a freakishly dark corner. I have a feeling that someone is walking behind me the whole time. But there was no node here, right? There might be a node here. Let's just check it out. No, we can't go. We got lo get lost here. But I do think there's a node here. Well, no, actually, I'm wrong. Okay. Yeah, I'm wrong. Let's see what this is. This big fat hallway. Uh. Heck. It's still turning. Still working. They said something about the lab, right? They connected the computer to a lab. It might be very possible that this is the lab. If there's a computer here. There's definitely a computer here. The password to access the computer is scattered all around this place. I, I wish able to find the first number, which is 9. Uh-huh. Okay. I hope this helps you, find, uh, it helps you if you can escape this place. My name is Jennifer, scientist and lead researcher at SCP. What's happening? 
I'm recording this message to record the success and the task of shutting down the generator at this location, allowing that metal door to open. The problem is, apparently this brought something from another dimension. I created a password so that the generator doesn't turn off by accident. When deciding to enter the password to be able to access another dimension, whatever it is, be prepared to run for your life. No. No, I hate this. I honestly hate this. Might there be a note somewhere here? Oh, we gotta find the no the rest of the notes, right? The rest of the numbers. Oh no. What did it say? Something happens and then we have to run for our life? What's that? For some reason when you crouch it it causes a duplicated walking sound. It's it's scary. Alright. So we have to find the rest of the notes. Come on. There's a note there, nice. Ah, this was my house for a long time here in this place. I hope you make good use of it now. Good luck, my friend. I'm not des uh, deciding to stay, my friend. Hmm, says what he said. What's the seven? On the third spot? On the fourth spot. Ah, ooh, there I almost went wrong in my notes. Okay. Seven. Uh, excuse me, we still have one number though. Right. We already had the five, the first one nine, we already six, five, the last two. You can check it one more time. Six, five, nine, so we still have two numbers left, correct? Correct. Alright. Let's find these freaking numbers then. Okay. Come from here. Oh no. You saw that. Oh no, you saw that as well, right? I saw a freaking figure standing there. Am I going nuts here? Am I actually going crazy right now? The silence in this game is intense. It's 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 intense. Well, wh what am I? Well, I'm a prophet. Am I? Did I foresee a new world? Will I be part of it? I don't care. I just want the number, man. I want to get out. Who's this? Why is it not coming closer? I think we have to go... Oh, that's the door. But well, I'm gonna see it in adding to editing though. I will show you as well if, if there was something standing there. I felt like I saw legs and just freaking disappeared, man. That was creepy. It can also be just a thing pigment of my imagination yeah we have to go here let's go here first it said something with red lights right you gotta run until the light is red. Well, the light is red, ladies and gentlemen. So. In here already. I'm just checking out real quick.
I'm out. I'm out. Fuck this. Fuck this. I'm back. I, I now know why, what the reason was that why I skipped these games, ladies and gentlemen. Why the heck did I skip? Why am I playing this? You guys make me do this, right? You guys make me do this. I don't know how people can play the back rooms. That's honestly weird. It's gonna be a fake door for sure. A note here. Somewhere a note, please. I'm so I'm I'm seriously starting to sweat. Wait, wait, what? A, B, C, C, okay, and like, like an electrical fire extinguisher. All right. Ever dream this, man? Oh, I'm gonna dream him tonight. Every night, all over the world, hundreds of people see this face in their dreams. If this man appears in your dreams too, or if you have any information that can help us identify him, please contact him. Just imprint it on your mind, on your eyes. Let it sink in a little bit, and I'll, I'll dare you. You will dream about it. I will bet you is what I want to say. Was he standing there before? Was he the one that I saw? It is just messed up. Wait, was that chair not standing normally? This is so weird. Alright, give me a number please. Hello, I'm an astronaut. I honestly don't know how I got here. I just remember that my spaceship malfunctioned and I had to get out of it to fix it and my safety equipment broke. I, ar I had already, I thought myself dead. I was wandering in space for a few hours when suddenly I just fell as if gravity had suddenly returned. And here I am in a gigantic place, gigantic place, which seems infinite. I'm leaving this letter in case anyone else falls or already is here and can fight me. In case I'm still alive. Important. It's very important. I found some letters from other people here which mention other levels. Possible floor or, or, or dimensions of this place. Some say they have already passed through specific floors including numbered ones. For example, this one is apparently called level zero. Ooh, a little bit of a... Oh, you know, a little good stick neck you know and then a knock oh for example this one is apparently called level zero from what i read in the other letters to get out of here will be difficult it seems that is something to be unraveled i discovered one of the numbers nine is the first we already have that number oh i don't know where my neck really uh stiffed up that's what i want to say so maybe another one of the chairs Chairs are dangerous, right? Chairs are dangerous, as I said before. Let's go. That's still weird that this one is uh, turned over. Hallelujah. I'm actually also enjoying the game, but I also still find it very freaky. Because soon it will happen that we run into such a dark corridor and then we're just done. You're dead. Oh, we do have stamina. Okay. Is anyone here? Ew. I don't understand why they just don't leave the entire password on a single note. No, me neither. I think no one has discovered yet, or what discover or who discovered died. Or maybe we should hide the answer from someone. What I know is that eight probably is the second number. Alright, eight is the second number. Well, then we can make it uh, pretty easy on ourselves, right? We can look for the next number. We can try. Or we can also just try to fill it in. Because there are just now 10 possibilities left. Or 9. 
10 because zero is also a number. But I'm actually curious if he can find it. Right? Adam, right on. Why can't we open his door? He can, he can tell me. You gotta tell me, right? Game. Is anyone here? There is a number still. Okay. We're back. So what we can try to do is actually just fill it in. Right? My, ooh. Oh. That's too bad. Hmm. Oh, it was over here a entrance, right? I'm stuck, I guess. Oh, this is so dark. Huh? Uh, use me. Ah, oh, there it is. Was it this way? It was. All right. I think we're not gonna find that easily though. I'm just gonna fill it in. Try to find the last number by trying the combinations. It's not that hard. Oh, that gave me goosebumps over my whole body. Why would you do that game? It went through my whole freaking body. My whole body. Oh, no, no. It's not where we have to go. All right. Just something about the, that we have to run, right? If it goes on. Ooh, we might have to run to the elevator. I don't know where that is. Is that giving away right now? Nine eight four seven. Let's just freaking try it. I think it's given away. I just have a little bit of an impulse. Let's try. Otherwise, we try it from zero. I do think this is actually the code. Nine eight. Oh, nine eight. I go for four seven six five. Ooh. Okay. Let's go with zero. Alright, two, oh maybe one first, let's try three, what's happening, we had to run, where to, oh no, oh baby, okay, something, nothing really seems to happen though, Oh no, I hate it already. Get it out of sight, get it out of sight. That's what most ghost hunting games do though. Jesus. Jesus. I don't want to turn around, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not going to turn around. Run, boy. Run. We have to go here, right? I'm sweating, ladies and gentlemen. I'm freaking sweating. My heart, my hair is... Going the wrong way because I'm sweating. Oh, no. Why am I even looking around? What am I doing here? Wait, I recognize this. I don't know where I'm going, ladies and gentlemen. I'm stuck. Is it here? 
There's supposed to be a short door somewhere, right? Ah, uh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Shit, 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 shit. Where is the way out, ladies and gentlemen? No. It's coming. It's coming. Wait. I forgot how I got here. I honestly do. Why? Attack, bro. Wait. Huh? There must be a way somewhere here. It just. It has to be. Ah, oh, there it is. Told you. And then we have to go to this one. Yes, that's what I know. I'm happy that I found that one. Yeah, I know this. Wait, we we ran towards the zone B, right? Yes. Where was that door? That is the chair. It's all the way to the beginning, right? That was not where the door was. Was it now? No. It was... <laughs> I'm not good at this. Metaphorically, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, ladies and gentlemen. Literally, actually. Literally? No. Metaphorically. I'm still sitting comfortably, comfortable in my chair. Somewhere over here. That's to be that freaking door. Where am I going? Okay, I'm uh, I'm actually a little bit lost. Wait, the door was somewhere around the corner, right? Somewhere around the corner the door was. There, wasn't, there were mushrooms on the ground. So it's not here, clearly. I'm so bad at it. I still figure that the creature is somewhere behind me. Or somewhere in this area right now. Stop it. The alarm. It's alright. It's okay. Okay, now I'm stuck here again. Okay, give me a psych good psychological horror game. I prefer that. Oh, but this game does the trick with me. here you got to be kidding me wait was it now <sighs> what the heck bro we went in here yeah yeah we do have to go back then Somewhere over here, maybe. No. Was it? It was here. I found it. I found it. I found it. Nice. Go, 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 go. Okay, just keep going. Uh, well, actually, now I realize something. I believe I played one time in back rooms that. A backrooms game. What is that shadow? But it was not really a horror backrooms game. It was more like exploring, right? Just having the feeling of being in a weird environment. I can't remember what the game was. 
But it's on my channel. What is this? No? Is anyone here? Okay. Just a freaking mannequin. One day this, these games give, will give me a heart attack. I'm almost crying here. And I remember that when that, oh. I remember that one of these that game somewhere we were in a swimming pool. Exploring a swimming pool. Weird ass swimming pool. This is this such a weird swimming pool. We haven't seen a creature yet. Well we haven't seen him, but we heard him. Is this then? Oh, we can't jump in it? I do remember with the other game we could jump in it. As I said, but it was not a horror game. We do hear some weird stuff. Can that alarm please go off? Which off, I mean. You know what? Luckily, we just one person and not bad at all. Alright, please switch out that sound. Thank you, game. Uh, no, thank you. It seems like this is the next level. It's gonna be an endless hallway. Never know with this game. It can be an endless hallway. Or spider web. Or dust web maybe. I do see see a light at the end. Wait, do I maybe press something here? There's a toys box. Well, it seems like it's a little bit changing though. Alright. We keep on going. Just keep on running. Like you, mo you just make your mother pissed. Run along, boy! Ooh. Oh, the, the, the big light at the end is coming close, so... That seems alright. I'm still curious if I really saw somebody standing there in the other back rooms. Why well, do I hear doesn't hear like sound like footsteps? Jesus. Weird elevator. Weird sign. This is what I mean with the swimming pool. Don't walk there though. Can we go in here? No, we can't swim though, okay. So weird. Can you imagine being stuck here? Wait, maybe there's a note. Oh, no, 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 alright. Not gonna make these disgusting sounds within the water. Because we already have to go and do it in here. No. No, 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 no. Kind of a weird place, to be honest. Oh, it's very high though. Okay. We have to walk our way up, I guess. Sorry, I have an annoying itch on my nose. Peaceful, the sound. Peaceful. Pee pee. All right. Keep, keep on going. But it's weird, right? 
that's that's what i, I don't really figure it it's, it's weird to say but it's, it's a terrifying idea to be stuck in such a weird place no endless loop no food no one around having a feeling that someone is lurking around the corner that would terrify me if it it will happen I must be dreaming. yeah oh i like the sound Nice. That was like the one of the soundtrack of uh, the latest Batman. If you've seen it, let me know if you've seen it. Let me know what you thought of or thought about it. Way peaceful. Way more peaceful. <laughs> Way more peaceful than actually the back in level zero. I hated it. What is it saying? This can be place so calm. I think it's supposed to be say heaven. Right? Yeah, it's an A, right? Yeah, it's an A. Useful indeed. I am actually enjoying this part. Well, I would like to just look at this. It's so freaking weird, man. <laughs> Can you imagine if you're like wandering around for out maybe days without food, and then you come here in this place, and then you see one someone sitting there looking at you, not opening the windows, opening the doors, just staring at you, watching you die, getting going mental because you don't find a way out. Hmm. Bad idea. Oh, not think like that though. <laughs> uh, why am I actually saying that? No note here. We have to stop sometimes, otherwise he's gonna puff and puff around the whole time. <clears throat> oh, ah, he will do. That's a lot of clocks. Is it the end, maybe? Would love to. Would love it if this is the end. Would have been a nice playthrough, though. 50 minutes of time is... Consider that as a good game. Oh. Oh, why so dark? Why so gloomy? I'm actually a bit amazed. Sitting here, looking outside, contemplating life. If we fall, we can still go up, but it doesn't seem like we can fall though. Ooh, elevator. Sorry, I'm not gonna go all the way there. Okay, let's keep on going. I think that was a good, uh, good end. Okay, no end. Yeah, bring it back. Why not? Right. Who screamed? I know there's an elevator, I know, but I want to know who screamed. There's actually nobody here. The freaking scream is... There's no escape. Wait. It's not really, uh, I can't really count that though, but it seems like about, around about 50 days. 
That's where we have to go. Is anyone here? Hey! Nah. Nobody replying. Alright. I was actually big by to hope to hear the scream again, but it didn't. It's not replying to my head. Okay, the game really doesn't like me this level. Does really lo love this level though. Really glitchy, really dropping in FPS at the moment. 32, what the heck? No, let's keep going there then. I think that's the elevator. Wait. Well, that's actually a pretty picture though. I like it. Maybe good for the thumbnail actually. Why do we, do we hear animal sounds? Oh, fuck I'm out. Wait, I'm actually curious for one thing. What people mostly do is immediately running towards the the other door that I would like to see over these Dutch hills in in Holland we call these mountains <laughs> why did that lamp disappear I don't know why did light, light disappear we can't go any further so uh, not much to see there Why is it not working? We do have to do something with the lights? Maybe? Maybe, maybe. Can we pick it up? Why couldn't we pick it up before? Or is it just like an order or something like that? Fuck no. Fuck no, that gave me goosebumps. Didn't you hear that? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Some, something came running towards us, ladies and gentlemen. They were not our footsteps. Nice. Big fat ass glows running around my island. I don't know what to do. Well, that's actually uh, pretty happy though. We can't go in. That makes me happy. Let's walk around on my, my Dutch island. We don't have mountains, but we do have hills. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I actually don't want to leave here. I'm actually very <laughs> enjoying this very much. Boo, boo, boo. I hope you're moving with me, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, somebody here actually. There was just one gnome there. And gnome. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. No? There's a gnome there, the other house did not have a gnome. Uh, ooh, chairs are dangerous. Ooh, I can walk over him though. Why are chairs dangerous? I don't know why. We haven't seen anything happening to us though.
But there's nothing in here, okay. Besides uh, happy music. Oh, okay, imagine. We're now happy. If I'm stuck here for an hour and even in this game. Okay, imagine stuck here for days. And with that music on the background, I will go crazy. That would be nuts. Mental. Mad. Even the devil himself doesn't want to talk to me anymore then. Okay, but I wonder. I'm actually a little bit lost. Wait. What is this? Do we have to collect something? And give it to the nose? Where can we collect it? I haven't seen anything on the island. Where? Okay, that sound has to give us a... Why is it just making the sound here? In this house? Jeez, jeez, lord. Song is getting on my nerve. Don't know what to do. I think we have to collect these bottle bottle drinks. But why is it making a sound there? Alright. Can we find these bottles, man? I think we have to give them to the gnomes. There's one left, I haven't checked that out yet. Well, that's sneaky in a way. Come on. Water's blue though, I like it. I'm talking too much. <laughs> hey, it even has a smiley on it. Okay. I think we all know this. I'm crazy all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford all right, let's keep the going. marriage. But you look sweet upon the feet of a bicycle. Ba 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 boo. No. No. I was enjoying this this game and now we're back at the freaking hell hole. There's somewhere arrows that we have to follow. Please give me arrows. But I'm so curious what in that small room was. There's nothing here, right? There's something to play with. I think somebody went nuts there. Where are everyone's bones? What is here? Yeah, that's gonna take a while. I can't sprint there. And this, uh, like I'm crouching. I can't sprint like that. Oh, no jump scare, no jump scare. Seriously? Is there a big fat button? No. Nothing. Make me out of here. Nothing, I'm going great at. Alright. You heard that? That, that? that duplicated walking sound? That's that's weird, man. Sounds like it. Or somebody behind me. No. Sounds like this. Like it's duplicated. Alright. We can go here, I guess. This message is broadcasted to raise awareness of a new drug in circulation. What the heck is this? The Snile drug. 
we advise for you to stay away from any person suspected There's no person here, mate. Influence. For the past few months, we have received over 500 deaths related to the drug. The drug itself has not been scientifically investigated. Its most obvious effects are mania, uncontrollable laughter, violent tendencies, and the latched smile in which the drug was named after. How do you ensure your safety outside? Avoid dark alleys since most reported deaths happened near or in a dark alley. If you hear suspicious laughter, run as fast as you can. Avoid eye contact with the person. Once the person notices you, it will begin pursuit. Do not interact. You will most likely be. No. No, no. Is that coming? Are we gonna encounter suspicious people? The smiling people? It's creepy, man. Risk of accidental intake is very high. Okay, page one, page two. Why brought to the emergency room on the same day? Yeah, sure. Complaining of severe headache and acute facial cramps. None of the medicine helped. They uh, were taken to the laboratory for observation. They started to smile. Uncontrollably. Stage one, week one. Yeah. See? Page began to smile with some resistance. Page suffered meningitis before subsiding with two days. Okay. Page remained sane. Page two, week two. Holy shit. Any resistance have been subdued by fungus. Face begin to contour to a wide grin. This is creepy. Face's behavior becomes predatory. The page were then locked in the room. This honestly fucked up. Well made game, ladies and gentlemen. Stage 3, week 4. Fungus has permanently damaged facial tissue. Look at those eyes. Leaving a severe contorted face. Yeah, I can see that. The left one is disturbing. Very disturbing. Despite extensive nerve damage, the fused muscles maintain its expression. Expression. If ever the patient recover, I'm gonna be so mad. It's gonna be standing behind me, though. Face transplant is required from reintegration. Vocal cords have been stopped functioning due to extreme strain. You can imagine. I. Left one is really freaking me out a little bit there. <laughs> Page's behavior and motor function begin to decline. Taking over the brain towards the later part of this stage, yeah. Of course, taking over the brain. Like in The Last of Us. Stage 4, week 5. Rapid senescence visible in patients. Holy no. Page has completely lost resemblance from past self. Brain is in the late Alzheimer stages. Patient 2 did not live up to this stage. Holy shit. What is it to do with the game? Page 1 passed away 6 weeks into the, uh, the, his admission. 
Autopsy. Wait, a fungus, right? Fungus found in the brain cells. I told you that already, but... Is fungus the same as mushroom? It was observed secreting a substance similar to what? High concentration of the fungus found in amygdala suggested complete control over it. 30 minutes into the autopsy. A sudden burst of gas came out of the patient's mouth. It's standing behind us. What was initially thought to be gas was figured to be spores of the fungus. Shit. Two more decisions were present in that room. They may have inhaled the spores. Yeah, they're going to die. They have been quarantined. 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 You gotta tell me this. this is freaky, right? I'm the only one. Am I? The, let me know if I'm. If I'm just nuts and find this creepy. Let me know. This this was weird. Because I'm not really a biologist, but I know mushrooms and fungus are different. But can they can they be re related? Tell me if I'm wrong. Let me know. Because we saw mushrooms in the beginning. Maybe. And we know that people ate them and started to feel an itch. This game completely turned around. What the f Not turned around, but it became way worse. It's what I want to say, actually. Way worse. Let's sit over here. <gasps> Bro, come on. Fuck that. You gotta make me go there, huh? Are you seriously moving, chair? It's seriously moving, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear it. Oh, freaking hell. Chairs are dangerous. I know that. I know that. We have to go to the peaking head around the corner. Eee. Go, go, go. Hmm. Wait, it's just a balloon? Can we touch it? Is it filled with gas? Jesus Lord. That's mean from the game. Rap means good, bad. No rap means good. We can't go there, we have to go to the red side. That the um that the balloon just disappeared scared the Jesus out of me. Such a small thing can do that in this game. You can just snap your fingers and I I, I get scared. If my girlfriend now walks in, I'm gonna scream like a little girl. Fuck, she's, she's already asleep though. Pretty late at night, I like it. Playing, playing horror games. What the fuck? Playing horror games late at night, I like that. Makes you go a little bit more wild. Dangerous. Okay, what we have to do? Oh, I fell off it already. Where's this going? Come on, Mr. Moon. Jesus. Am I stuck? No. It, luckily, until now, this not really has been a chasing game. I'm very, very content with that. Because I know there are backroom games that you can get chased and killed very, very, very. <laughs> 
forget about that moment. Just forget it. I think this one was one of the worst scares I ever had. Seriously, my heartbeat skipped a few beats there. Such a f I'm gonna say it. That's such a fucking baby can do that to me, man. Come on. <laughs> that was... I'm out. I'm out. That was so unpredictable, though. What oh, popped there? I'm not gonna look for it. What we'll popped there? But it sounded like a balloon. No baby, please. This is so weird. The weird. All right. Ooh, that's awfully dark, though. Going to if some something will crawl towards me right now, <laughs> I will smack the shit out of my screen. <laughs> oh man. Luckily, I'm not streaming then. Otherwise, you would left your balls off. Okay. Um, we can walk, right? Yeah, thank you. I don't have to crouch anymore. Ooh. I like to take this one. A little bit of Dutch stairs here. Holy crap. Yeah. You're probably wondering why I say Dutch stairs, because... In most of the old uh, old gentleman houses here in Holland um, have these steep stairs though we're used to it is it cold or something it's just it's get weirder and weirder to be honest with the stuff we're finding here like why would this be here did, did they take a girl did a girl get this far in the levels like did they I don't know. Or is it just to freak me out actually with all the tents and the teepees and the balloons? Oh wow. <laughs> Where I once went in such a house like that had these weird floors that to make you actually feel uh, nauseous to try to create that effect. It it worked. I did that in G Belgium somewhere. I really appreciate it. Like it was to simulate how the bunkers worked uh, within the Second World War, and then you were walking around in that specific uh, simulation, not with virtual or something like that, just really being there on that location, and then the f yeah, you, you felt like you walked straight, and the walls were like tilted like this and weird. It felt weird, and you really felt becoming nauseous though. Ooh. Something is there, watching me. We. We. You watching me from here? What the? Heck? Okay, just popped up in my screen. Can we please see what it is? Please? That's so mean. I wanna see what it was. But well, that's not possible. We continue. I was actually expecting a big jump scare there. But this game has... Didn't have any jump scares besides the freaking baby and balloon popping though. But those, those are, those were neat, to be honest. I really like these jump scares. Oh, uh, wait, uh, uh, how do you call that? Not sudden, but smooth. Oh, I forgot that word. Uh, I know what I mean. Felt not like too much. But this game is going a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, all right, there. That's good. Yeah, sure, flicker light. Whoa. Why not? Why not? Excuse me? 
get a gun straight through this one. What the heck? Where am I? What? Can someone hear me? What the heck just happened? <laughs> if you didn't see it, there's someone standing in the freaking hallway there. What? You're gonna say it's gonna be continued? Wait, that's the game? Seriously? They recorded in 1985, found in 2035. George was not found yet, no shit. Is there different endings in this game? Wow. Wow. Wait. Wait. This game said like lost found lost tape right and then the tape of josh and i think that's because my account name has josh in it let's see oh no okay okay i think there are just five or six levels um sure what's going on oh I didn't expect it. it was so. I was so in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap! It was really terrifying, especially in the beginning. Then the water level really took a little bit out, and then we had the gnome level. It was nice, and then this part was creepy, man. I hope this was actually the game, and not that we have more tapes. I wish we had more tapes to play. Well, I really enjoyed this. Wow, a good game. Let me know what you think ladies and gentlemen, there's not much of a story but besides people getting sucked into this dimension and never finding their way out. We didn't either. I think we came the furthest of everyone else with all the notes. But yeah, I know why I skipped these games. Because it's terrifying but I, I, I would, would like to, I, I expected more creatures in there, more monsters chasing you besides that one though. But the, the atmosphere, holy crap, it did this job. I was on edge the whole time. My, I think the cats even jumped on the on the, on the the table in the other room. And it even scared me a little bit there. So it really did its job. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. Because that's the most important thing, of course. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hop to the next game. But I think first I'm going to sleep a little bit. I will see you in the next video. It will be in two days. But for now... I do hope you have a good day. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope you have a good evening. And I will see you in the next video. I love you all. And as I always say, bye bye.